I feel for everybody in the live sound industry who was relying on a paycheck and now it's gone. But I also feel for the people who just graduated from school or just it's about time for them to get an internship at a live sound house and there aren't any, right? Um, right now might be a good time for those people to start putting the real world experience on hold, but starting to sharpen those understandings of how sound works. How can they do that? How can somebody who wants to be successful in live sound start when live sound is at a standstill right now? Um, you know, that's a great question and um, something that um, if new everyone faces in the industry right now. First of all, there's a lot of audio jobs available. Radio, podcast, audio, um, anything having to do with uh, meetings. I mean, there's a tremendous amount of non-live reinforcement audio uh, opportunity out there. In addition, this is the time to go to school. This is like all the live industry people are forced to go to audio college. Not forced to. We have the opportunity to go to all audio colleges and create those audio colleges through YouTube and podcasts and reading and Google searches or whatever it takes to bump up our skill set and expand it. And, you know, maybe someone that's just a live engineer up to now will master Pro Tools or master video editing. And knowing video editing is useful because then you know what they're looking for for audio. With any challenge, there's an opportunity. And I think the people that are going to be most successful in whatever they do are the ones that focus on the opportunity rather than the detriments of the challenge. I think just because we don't have giant hardware at our disposal, we can download almost any digital console into our laptop. We can there's inexpensive mixing software. We can get small PAs. We can download. We can get. We have access to different mixes. It's not that hard to download. There's plenty of freeware, multi-track freeware. We can practice mixing. We can practice using compressors and uh, doing that on headphones and small PAs and looking at phase problems. So, and I also try and do all my videos that way. I do almost. I try and do everything that with equipment that can be bought off eBay for under $500 or under $1,000, which may be a lot of money to some, but some of it can be scaled down. I use old, easily accessible gear to do all the demos so they can all be repeated. And that's a good point because honestly, if you're just starting out, you're not gonna be behind the mixing console with a line array, you know, and, and a sub array that's all top of the line. Um, sit, spend your time practicing in your living room. Hey, right now, you're always in your living room, so mm -hmm. the sound apply the the laws of sound apply just as much in your living room as they do at that festival stage, and so yeah, yeah, I mean that's a great point. And scaling up, just knowing that if you have a cancellation, if you take a small speaker and you hang it from a string from your ceiling two feet off the ground, and you get your smart out and you see that you have a reflection happening at. 800 or 1200 800 cycles and you get big cancellations well if it's 20 feet off the ground that's going to be an 80 cycle issue you can scale that stuff up and scale it down uh distance versus frequency it's it is somewhat linear uh, so learning the math there you can actually build miniature things that work that's really cool yeah i'm excited to see um on your youtube channel you've sort of teased that you've been 3D printing little tiny micro wedges. You just mentioned that you've got the subwoofers. Um, really check out Dave's YouTube channel. It's really cool. He even sets up uh, little audiences and, and puts a little mic at, you know, mixed position. And it's all in the vicinity of his desktop. And he really makes these points obvious. So you do a great job of that stuff. Well, thank you. Yeah, people should go out and replicate it. Go try it. Don't just believe me. I, I pretty much, I'm showing you not the way to do things. I'm showing you examples of things that function, but you know, you can set this stuff up and do it yourself and find flaws to what I'm doing or additions to it, or just get a good mental grasp of what's going on.